Hello and welcome back to the wire jungle that is Cafe Chronicles. I'm Steve. Uh, today we're going to try and push on a little bit um, with the wiring of the bike. So what I hope to do is pop the M button into the, um, the clip on handlebars and wire up the, uh, the control so that we can actually hit buttons and uh, make input slide up on the M unit. So let's get stuck in. So we're, we're getting there. Um, so we've got one side on fully. Um, this here I've got wired up and I'm just starting to um, screw in the little button here. Man, these are, they look cool. They will be awesome on the bike. But I don't know that they've been engineered in the most productive way. Um, so there's four wires per button. Two are um, for the purpose of the button. So you've got your, uh, you know, your uh, connection to the input on the on the M M button, let's say, and. The other then is um, plus and minus, uh, positive and negative basically, um, for the LED light. Um, but like, I don't know why they need two negatives in there, you know? Um, why they can't, they, they cut down, out of this here you cut down three wires um, just by doing that. Surely there's a way to do that, you know, surely there's something they can do. I like the idea of the LEDs on them, but it's an awful lot of wires. And, you know, going through the handlebars of the bike earlier, you saw the har hassle and hardship I was having there by trying to put them in. I don't know that it's worth it. Um, I don't know that I would run these on a bike again if I was to ever do another bike. Um, you know, they look awesome, but like, for the sake of the LED, I don't know if it's worth it. But anyways, a little bit of feedback, but they look cool. But we're getting there. 
almost ready to run this into the handlebars. It's uh, just an awful lot of ha cables to put through the handlebars, you know, but, but hey, cool. All wired up we've got our little makeshift switch in here we've got our configuration wire going up to our end button and then our end button up to our switches so we're ready to rock and roll so let's try and run it and see what we're seeing okay so straight off M unit looks good and I don't know if you guys can see here but we've got our nice funky controls up there too so what we're going to do is we're going to test our connection between our switches and our M unit. So this here is the output side of the M unit and then on this side is the input side. So what we're really concerned about is the input side. So we're going to try uh, some of the controls and we're going to check our inputs. That's first kind of port of call. So we'll try our left turn signal on nothing off nothing <laughs> okay not good okay right turn signal on right signal turn signal off nothing no good horn on horn off nothing no good 
simple mistake anyone could make. Okay. So, this time, third time's a charm. Okay, we've got power on our M unit. This time, left turn signal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, what? And then cancel, sweet. So, over here, we're seeing the input light comes on for turn signal. I hit it. And then the output light. So, this is the one that's going to be sending power to the turn signals. So then I hit stop and that's good again. Now if I try right turn signal, boom, came on and it's flashing and then I hit stop it, start it, stop it, start it, stop it, all good. Okay, now if we go um, lights, lights on, lights off, lights on, lights off. And then also you've got some really cool kind of stuff going on there because um, you've got your flash and then you've got full headlights as well. But that's sweet, okay, and then you've got your horn, honk, honk. Honk. Yeah, we don't have one wired up yet, but cool. And then we've got auxiliary one. Or sorry, auxiliary two, I should say. Auxiliary two, on and off. So um, we've got nothing wired in there yet, but we will. Oh, that's auxiliary one, actually. We'll have to change that around. So it's an auxiliary. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah. Cool. Okay, the other only other thing is the start. So let's it'll be a little kick loud, but it'll be fine. But let's try it. <coughs> Boom, works like a charm. Okay, so this is how the controls are looking. Hopefully you guys can see that. Kind of neat the way it is here. So down here we'll have horn, we'll have our lights. Uh, when you hit the lights on, they come on, and then you've got, you hit it again, and it's like a flash, and then you hold it down, I think it is, well, I'll have to check out the manual, but it's actually a really smart system with MUnit. Then we've got turn signal left on, turn signal left cancel, over this side, again, same color as the other side there, in the middle, you've got turn signal right on, turn signal right off. Um, up here, this is for auxiliary on and off. It was kind of a spare button. I got three on each side. I wanted to keep it kind of uh, symmetrical. And at the moment, I've got it wired up um, for to, to switch on an auxiliary two and switch off an auxiliary two. So you could have that for like heated handlebars or you could have it for like a heated seat. What I have it wired up for at the moment is I've bought a little USB charger, a little USB power outlet that I'm going to mount up here and that will switch it on and off. So, you know, until I find a better use for it, of course. Um, and then here is start and, and stop. So like that. All right. So that's a little bit of a success. Um, so we've got our uh, front controls wired up and uh, the next thing that we can do is start to uh, wire up the rest of the bike, start to wire up our uh, outputs from the M unit to the, to the headlight, to the turn signals and uh, to the uh, rear tail light and, and so on, brake switches and all that kind of nice jazz as well. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been a kind of a long day of wiring this stuff. Uh, it, it, it seems like it should be something that's straightforward and um, quick and easy. But um, you know what? It just tends to take a lot longer than you would think. And I've heard lots of people say that these things just take a, a, a bunch of time, you know, that they just take... Uh, quickly it turns into 20 and 40 hours and things like that you know so and i totally well believe that but uh, i think we've done pretty well and you know what i uh, 
you know I enjoyed it these things were frustrating they were like fiddly little little bits but uh, they look well now that they're in and they'll be nice when I put on the the loom sheathing and stuff like that sheaths sheath sheeting I, I don't know how you say it but uh, so that's the story so uh, I'll tell you what I'm uh, celebrating that as a bit of a victory and uh, <laughs> enjoying the uh, the fact that we're a little bit closer to getting this thing on the road so we're getting scarily close to starting it <laughs> everything is kind of uh, there now really and um, actually you know I need to wire in the uh, the coils and uh, other than that you know that's it oh the charging system the stadium and stuff like that but all right well listen thanks guys for uh, tuning in and um i hope uh, that everybody's safe and uh don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe if you guys have any comments i'd be delighted to hear it um and uh, if you have any questions email me um, I'll try and post links in the description of anything that I've used if at all possible but if I use something and you'd like to know what it is or where it came from please let me know and uh, I'll see you guys soon